Hey everyone, so I'm doing, I think this is going to be a part two of my full face first impressions. I'm going to be trying this hourglass eyebrow pencil, so let me try this on camera. Alright, let me grab my mirror because my camera is going out of focus. All right, yeah, it just feels kind of ordinary. Like, I don't know, I think I would just get, I don't know, I don't know, I, I think I just purchased like the Anastasia one again if I wanted a high-end brow pencil. I don't really notice a difference between the two of them. And even ones from the drugstore, honestly, I don't really notice like, that big of a difference, but it's better packaging. All right, guys, I just wanted to do, I'm gonna, I'm getting ready for work and I just wanted to do a, Second and third impressions. This is my third impression of this brow pencil, but so far I'm really liking it. I think this is going to be my new drugstore everyday brow pencil. So I think I'm just going to do one eye off camera and then one eye off camera. All right, let me um, change the angle so you can see what I'm doing. I usually make it dark on the end and like more hair-like on the front. All right, so now I'm gonna be doing a second impression on this Better Than Chocolate palette, but I am working on a project pan for um, this palette. So I'm gonna be using most of this, but I'm gonna be using some of these. Okay, so let me see what we got here. Okay, but I am gonna be doing the brow bone with this palette again, giving it a second chance. And I don't have any new face products, so I think, well, other than this Anastasia contour kit, well, as a, I can do a second, I already did my first impression, but I can do a second impression on that. And I'm using Q-tips because I don't feel like um, cleaning makeup brushes, and I like that they're, most, of them, most of them are clean right now, but I'm going to be using, like, a few. All right, so I like this a lot better second, but it's like for, I like it a lot better for a second impression, but it is still like not very noticeable. All right, so I finished the rest of my eye look using the Chocolate Bon Bon palette. Okay, so I'm just gonna do something in the inner corner. Okay, I'm gonna be using Odie Goody, Odie Goody, um, right, that one to for my um, inner corner highlight. Oh, I really like that. That's really good. That really redeemed the... It's better than the white, in my opinion. All right, so I did the rest of my makeup. The rest of my makeup is done. I just need to do some setting spray. And this um, highlighter looks like it needs a little bit more blending. But anyways, I got these new Milani... Um, I forgot what they were called. Fet... Um, fet footish, not... Or like something fetish lipsticks or something like that. And I got the shade Tease, and I wanted to try this on camera for a first impression. All right, let me open it, and here's the packaging, and uh, let's try it out. It looks really high quality, um, first impression. Oh, I'm looking at the packaging. All right, well. And yeah, it's a nice nude. So yeah, that was this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next Testing clip. out this new Ace Beauté palette on camera with you guys. So yeah, let's open this bad boy up. And let's look at the inside. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. Okay, so that's the palette. And let me see what I'm going to do here. Looks like I have to grab the white from another palette. So let me find the white from another palette. I think I'm going to open up this Lost in the Clouds palette by Beauty Creations with their collab with My Little Pony. And I'm going to be using this on my face for today. Oh my god, that's such cute packaging. Oh my god, I'm going to be using this shade sky cloud sky cloud 
for my brow bone. I'm just be dipping in with my finger. Okay, so there's that. Okay. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to be testing. Okay, I'm going to be taking the shade Rye. And for my crease. Oh my god, that white eyeshadow has this shimmery hue to it. Alright, they're... These eyeshadows are kind of average, to be honest, at first glance. Not the Beauty Creations. The Beauty Creations is nice, but the Ace Beauty is just kind of average, to be honest with you. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be dipping in with this orange shade called Vegeta Vegetation. I'm gonna be, oh, that, that looks better. That's pigmented. I thought I, did, I smushed my brush into one of the shadows. All right, let me finish blending one eye. Right, I'm going to do the lid shade. I think I'm going to try the shade May. I'm going to put that all over my eyelid. The shimmers are kind of average in here, to be honest. And I almost bought a bunch of these palettes to get free shipping, but I was like, no, I'm just going to try this one. They're already discounted, so yeah. All right, I'm going to be trying this new eyeliner that I got. Well, if it's not new, it's new to me from Smashbox. I got it at my job, and I'm going to test it out. Okay, how am I going to do this? Yeah, I need to clean my mirror. I need to get some Windex and a wash rag. Clean that baby up. Okay, this... Let me see how I'm going to put this one. Alright, yeah, that looks... Okay, I want to try it on the waterline. I'll come back later to put it on my bottom waterline. Alright, and for my face, I'm going to be trying this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I've tried um, samples of this, um, but I've never gotten any size of it. Okay, so let me just pour that Put that on my skin and rub that in. Okay. Yeah, it feels nice. It feels the same as the sample. And it's a good primer. All right, I'm trying to make sure I'm getting that all spread all right, I'm out. I'm trying this um, AOA Satin Drops foundation. I think this is supposed to dupe the NYX one. All right, so let's see. Okay, let's, oh my God, it looks a little bit too, gonna be a little bit too dark. Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna blend it out with these Hello Kitty, the Cream Shop um, beauty sponges. Yeah, that looks all right. Maybe a little dark though. I'm just gonna make it work. This is why I do not like buying high-end foundations without swatching them or seeing how they are on my skin or getting color matched. Because then I spent forty anywhere from forty to a hundred dollars on an expensive foundation that doesn't even match me. All right, I think this is a little dark, but I'll make it work with concealer. Okay, I'm gonna blend out. I see a lot of people, they blend out, they blend it out on, on one part of their face. I'm gonna blend it a little bit on the other side. I'm gonna blend it out all on this part of my face, this side. All right, this is a new concealer that I have that I'm going to be trying out today. Oh my god, and it comes with a doe fit. I thought it was going to be a squeezy tube. All right, this might be a little bit too dark. I need to, but we'll just see. All right. Let me start blending that out.
All right, we're gonna make sure that's on my chin and on my cupid's bow is all blended out. All right, I'm gonna blend. Yeah, this blends out pretty nice. I actually, first, I, have, I actually, <laughs> oh, I can't talk today. I actually really like this. I think this is a good concealer. I got the sample size, but I heard bad things about this company. They did something unethical. I don't remember, but if you want to look it up, I'm just going to look it up. And I got to look it up to remember what it was about. But I do like this product, though. All right, I'm going to finish blending off And camera. I'm going to test out this Hourglass lip gloss or lipstick with you guys that, that I got. Oh, here it is. Let me try that on camera. Oh, uh, yeah, this is just, I don't know, this is okay. I don't know, I'm kind of overwhelmed, or underwhelmed, actually, I mean, pardon me, with these high, these luxury high-end products. All right. All right, I'm showing out these Menage Press Powders with the powders. This isn't new. I think I tried this in a other first impressions, but it uses up less product. I'll just wipe away all the excess later. All right, I'm gonna be using the blush from this palette. I forgot, I did my, um. no, I, I haven't done any bronzer yet. I can still use that as a bronzer. I don't know if that's meant to be a contour. Ugh, I have no idea. Uh, I don't know, it kind of looks more contoury to me, but I'm using the AOA Studio brush if I didn't already tell you. And yeah, that's all, yeah, I mean, it's all right, you know. I'm not gonna be using the highlighter from this Glam Light palette because I have this Baby for Went Wild I've been meaning to try. I've been saving it to try it on camera with you guys. So yeah, let's, let's get to it. All right, I'm trying to open it. They don't make it easy. All right, I'm gonna see. Moment of truth. Let's see if this is a blending highlight. Um, yeah, it's okay. I don't know. I might need to get through the top layer. Because sometimes that's why they're not blending. And I don't have a new mascara to try. So I'll just uh, do my mascara and off. And here's camera. the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next hey, one. everyone. Bye. I'm continuing my September haul. I got this AOA Studio foundation that I just tried in my first face, full face of first impressions. I got this brown lip liner. I got this Mary action figure. And I also got a lip brush, or not a lip brush. I'm thinking about the lip liner. Um, I got a brush from AOA Studio. AOA Studio, actually, ugh, why am I butchering that name? Yeah, but now it looks like I misplaced that, but that was just part of this haul. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.